May may magpo-factor naman tayo ng uh, dalawang uri ng quadratic equations. Yung isa, yung leading term is 1. Yung isa naman, yung leading term is more than 1. So, yung first two problems, madali lang yung pag-factors niya. Pag-factor niya kasi yung x squared minus 7x minus 18. Kailangan lang natin kunin yung factors na negative 18 na pag in natin will equal to negative 7. At ang factors niya would be, um, should be a negative number and a positive number. At since negative 7 siya, so sa 9 and 2, yung 9 would be negative and 2 would be positive. So pag minultiply natin tong two numbers na to will be equal to negative 18. At pag inad naman natin will be equal to negative 7. So yung factors niya would be x minus 9 and x plus 2. So ito yung factor ng problem number 1. Now yung problem number 2, meron tayong, or problem number 3, we have x squared minus 9x plus 8. So, yung factors ng 8, that will give us negative 9 when we add them up since positive yung ating fact, yung product natin at negative yung sum natin. So, dalawang negatives yung factors na kailangan natin. At ang numbers na magmumultiply sa, or mag equal sa 8 pag minultiply natin at mag add naman sa negative 9 would be 8 and 1. So, ang ating factor ay x minus 8 at x minus 1. So, ganito lang kasimple yung pag-factor out kapag ka yung ating leading term ay 1. Pero yung number 5, it will be a little bit different kasi sa number 5, yung ating quadratic equation ay meron ng, or hindi na equal to 1. So, kung uh, ang leading term nyo ay more than 1, kailangan nyo i-multiply yung leading term and yung last term, which is equal to negative 120. At kailangan nyo mag ng factors ng negative 120 na kapag in nyo, will equal to negative 31. Now, since medyo malaki yung number natin, so ang gagawin natin, ang isa sa mga techniques na ginagawa ko is yung factor 3. So, 120, ang aking mga factors ng 120 ay... Uh, I'm sorry, this is 140. 140. 7 times 2 is 4. 14. So, ang factors ng 140 na kailangan natin would be 14 and 10. At yung 14 will have factor, if we factor this out, will be 2 and 7. At ito naman ay 5 and 2. So, sa pagkuha natin dito, kung negative yung product natin, isa ay positive, isa ay negative. At since negative 31 yung ating sum, ibig sabihin kailangan mas malaki yung negative number natin. At ang nakikita ko dito, 7 times 5 which is 35. So, 2 times 2 is 4. At yun yung mag equal sa negative 31 kapag in natin. So, 7 times 5, that is negative 35. And 2 times 2 which is positive 4. So, ang ating middle term would be this term and this term. Now, hindi pa tayo tapos sa ating solution kasi yung second part natin is kailangan natin kopyahin si 7x squared at yung bagong 4x minus 35x at yung last term. So, by grouping, if a factor out natin yung first group at saka yung second group, yung factor ng first group Ang GCF niya ay 7x or x that will give us 7x plus 4 sa loob. At yung uh, second group naman natin, ang ating greatest common factor will be negative um, 35 and 20 would be 5. At ang matitira sa loob would be 7x plus 4. So, since common term natin is 7x plus 4, meron tayo ngayong x minus 5 and 7x plus 4 as our factor. So, ito ngayon yung factored form nung 7x squared minus 31x minus 20. Mas mahaba yung process niya kasi nga yung leading term natin is more than 1. So, dun sa problem number 7, meron tayong 2x squared plus 17x plus 21. 
So same process yung gagawin natin, 2 times 21 is equal to 42. So kailangan natin yung factors ng 42 that will equal to 17 when we add them up. So 42, ang mga factors niya ay 6 and 7. At meron tayong 3 and 2. At this is 7 and 1. So, ang mag-equal sa 17 sa factors na pwede natin gamitin dito would be 2 times 7 which is 14 added to 3 is equal to 17. So, we have to multiply 2 and 7 which is 14 and then 3 over here. So, ngayon meron na tayong bagong middle term. So, tapos na tayo sa first part. Yung sa second part natin is to copy the first term and then plus 14x plus 3x plus 21 and by grouping to yung group natin yung GCF ng first group is 2x which gives us x plus 7 at yung pangalawa naman 3x and 21 would be positive 3 and x plus 7 will be inside. And since we have a common term right here, we can group 2x plus 3 together. Outside is going to be x plus 7. So ito yung factored form ng ating quadratic equation ng number 7. At yung problem number 9 naman, ito na yung pinakamadaling i-factor kasi sa 7x squared plus 9x, Wala tayong constant term, so GCF lang yung kailangan natin gamitin para ma-factor out siya. At ang GCF niya is x, at ang natira na lang is 7x plus 9. So ito ngayon yung factored form ng ating problem number 9. So kung uh, may natutunan kayo sa video na ito ng factoring ng quadratics, please uh, like, share, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.